Beloved brothers and sisters in Christ, this is Brother Frank speaking to you from the International Mission Center in Krefeld, Germany. We're just so grateful to the Lord for having been with us in an outstanding way and we shared God's word with God's people who came from different continents and countries, not only from all over Europe, from Australia, Canada, USA, South Africa, Central Africa, from everywhere God's people were gathered here. And we're grateful to the Lord that he revealed his word to us. He sent his servant and prophet for the greatest purpose in the history of humanity, in the history of the New Testament church. Even when we read from Daniel chapter 12, from verse 9, 10, when the prophet in the Old Testament was told, seal the book, close the vision, right to the time of the end. And then we understand by the grace of God, we're now living in the end time. And when the time came, God spoke to Brother Branham about the opening of the seven seals, the book that was closed, the mysteries that were hidden by the grace of God. We can look back and say, there was not only a February 28th, 1963, when the prophet was told from that supernatural cloud, return to Jeffersonville for the opening of the seals. But we know about March the 17th to the 24th, when this man of God shared the mysteries with us that were hidden and beloved. You can imagine how I feel having known the Lord for the past 70 years, having known Brother Branham for 10 years, had part in his ministry while he was alive, even just before he went to Arizona. According to the vision, I was together with him. You know my testimony. But now, do you understand my responsibility to share the Holy Word of God? The Lord used Brother Branham to reveal the hidden mysteries. But then, after the opening of the seals, he never took the message to any other country. And by the grace of God, since he was taken to glory, I had the privilege by a divine commission to take the true word of God, the true message of the hour, the true revelation of the mysteries to the nations of the earth and to share with them the true message, the true word of God. 
no interpretation, no imagination, but the word that would remain forever and ever. And in Daniel, it also says directly after the statement that the things would be closed to the time of the end, it says, many shall be purified and made white. And if you continue to read, the ungodly will not pay any attention to what God has to say. But those who are ordained to see it, they will rejoice and they will be cleansed by the washing of the Word of God and they will be cleansed by the washing in the blood of the Lamb. Their sins are forgiven and they are sanctified in the Word of God. And then, of course, if we go on to Ephesians chapter 1, verse 13, we read about the sealing of the Holy Spirit. It says here, In whom ye also trusted after ye heard the word of truth, not only the gospel, but after the word was revealed, after you heard the word of truth, and there's no lie in the truth, no interpretation, not one of all the wrong teachings are in the word of God. The Bible doesn't know about any two-soul doctrine, about any parousia, about any seven thunders. The Bible doesn't know about all these wrong teachings which are going on. The Bible is the Word of God. If you only believe the Word of God, you will be sealed. If you believe any interpretation, I give you the guarantee in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that you cannot be sealed. God will never seal an error. Are you following? God means what he says. And the Apostle Peter said, there's no private interpretation. So what about all the private interpretations which are going on? Forget them all and return to God and to the Word of God because we are now living very, very close to the second coming of Christ. And those who believe that He already came, beloved let me say this again. He revealed his word. He came down in the supernatural cloud, in the supernatural pillar of fire. But he did not return physically. But he shall return according to Acts chapter 2. In the same body he went to heaven, he shall return and the dead in Christ will rise first, and we who are alive in Christ shall be changed, and together we shall be taken up in the clouds and meet the Lord in the air and be with him at the marriage supper of the Lamb. Why don't you put the word of God in the right context? Beloved brothers, the time has come to say what needs to be said. Let me finish in saying this. 
This is the most important time for the New Testament church. There's never been a time in the history as this time that we're now living in. In every respect, with Israel, with the things going on among and in the nations. And our Lord said, when you see all these things come to pass, then you know the time is at hand. It's even at the door. And we believe it's at the door. And the Lord will return very, very soon. So it's absolutely necessary, as we read here from Daniel, not only to know that the closed book was opened and the seals were revealed, but also many shall be purified. This is calling out time, time to be purified to be washed in the blood of the Lamb, to be washed by the water of the Word. Beloved, this is God's time. Take it seriously. And I finish in saying this again. The seal of God can only be put on those who are washed in the blood of the Lamb who have experienced full redemption, full salvation, who walk with God in agreement with the Word of God, who can say, not my, but thy will shall be done. And they are the ones where God is putting his seal after we heard and believed the word of truth. So may the blessings of Almighty God rest upon all of you and may all return to God, to His word, and that is the message of the hour. Back to God, back to His word, back to the original foundation, back to the doctrines of the apostles, the Alpha and Omega is the same as the church was at the beginning. She is now in the restoration and shall be at the end as she was at the beginning. May the blessings of Almighty God rest upon you and may divine revelation be granted to you and may the respect the holy respect towards the holy word of God be upon you and with you. In Jesus' holy name, amen.